tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to run your angular 2 app or angular 4 app inside a docker container so i already have set up an angular app for me by going through the angular documentation to save some time okay so, so the next step for us to deploy the app in the docker is to create a docker file so i'll go ahead and create a docker file Okay, now in order to deploy your code from your Angular app into a Docker container, first you need a node image. So I'll pull a node image. I'm pulling a uh, specific version uh, 9.6.1. It's up to you which image you want to pick up. So first step is this. Then we need to make a directory inside which we can work with our angular app so inside inside the docker container we'll be creating a directory slash source slash app so this app folder will be on main directory where we'll be working so let me set that as the working directory If you are not familiar with this docker command, I uh, I'll suggest you please go through the docker tutorials and even I'll be coming up with those session tutorials so, but it will take some time. Okay, so I have set up the working directory as app folder. Now next step for us is to run npm install and uh, install uh, angular cli which is required so i'll run npm install okay i'm installing specific 1.7.1 cli it's up to you which one you need as per your project requirement so the next step is to copy the full folder uh, our current working direct uh, current worker directory which is angular docker folder which is here angular docker inside which the our angular app is lying copy the full thing to this working directory okay uh, as you might see here i have already installed node modules that means i have already installed all the dependencies for the angular app itself here so I'm moving this full folder as it is for the contents of angular docker inside this app folder. So you don't need to run npm install after you, you get inside this container. It will happen first and it will be moved over there. So the next command for us is to ng serve this app. And this command is specific to angular CLI. You can go ahead and learn them. I'll be running the app on 4200. Okay, so the Docker file is done. Okay, I made a mistake here. The Docker file has to be moved outside of the source folder, so I'll move it out. So it has to lie in the Angular Docker folder. Okay, so let me bring up the terminal. So now I'm inside angular docker folder over here. The first command for me to run is docker build. Give it a name. So I'll give it a name of angular docker image. And specify the path where the docker file is. So the docker file lies in the root. So I'll put a dot over here. Uh, these are docker specific commands. You can go learn them from the docker documentation so i'll hit enter here it will take some time okay uh, so i had already installed uh, i already have the 9.6.1 node image so it has taken it from the cache already from that image 
otherwise it will take some time to install these things okay so our docker build is successful that means our image has been created successfully now it's time to run that image so let's run that image to run that image we need to run docker run minus it we mount our main project folder to slash user slash source slash app directly in the docker container so what is minus b does is whenever we make our change in this project folder it will reflect it by pushing that code again back to the user slash app folder in the docker container and it will recompile these things so minus v is for volume mounting okay so the next uh, the next command is we specify the port mapping since the uh, app is running here on port 2.0 port here as you can see so you have to specify the port mapping this is the client port from the uh, browser which will be entering it will be mapped to the docker container port the port inside the doc, uh, port which is specified for the docker container to run the angular then we give the image name so my image name was angular docker I can let's run this okay so our code has been built and it is running on this address so let's see this address in the browser as you can see here welcome to app so this is our angular app which is now running in the docker container at port 4200 okay so how is the port uh, volume mounting helping us uh, let's go and change something in index.html and save this as you can see it has recompiled right so that that's what that minus p flag did here whenever we make changes in our any file in this angular docker folder it will reflect it back in the browser as well by recompiling yeah. okay uh, and this will specifically help you for the uh, development purpose this will, this uh, docker file is helpful only for your development when you actually need to run your code in the production this these steps are not required you will be only moving your dist folder into the app uh, folder of the docker not the full folder so that is it guys if you like this video please give a like thumbs up and if you want to give some suggestions or comments please leave them down in the comment section thank you